Good afternoon. You are in the Center for the Objective Structural Clinical Examination, abbreviation OSCE. The basic principles of OSCE are the next one. First of all, objective. All students perform the tasks of the same complexity and are evaluated according to a standard checklist. Second, structured. Students move strictly according to the signals for a certain number of stations, a certain road, where they perform the same set of tasks in the same conditions and for the same periods of time. Third one, clinical. All situations are as close to clinical as possible and requires the combined use of theoretical knowledge and practical skills. For example, demonstration of the complexity. Students dress in robes, hats and removable shoes. Students are admitted to the exam who have no academic depth, arrived on time for the exam and are dressed in a medical uniform. Dressing gown, hat, replaceable shoes. All things, gadgets, bags, mobile phones, etc. must be left in the locker room. Good afternoon. Now you are at the center of the objective stru structural clinical exam. I will tell you now the main roots of the exam. First of all, it is objective. The knowledge assessed uh, at the equal criteria. Second one, clinical. You have all the clinical, practical oriented exam. Third, structural. All the tasks are structured uh, by the disciplines and you have the same tasks, the same rules and this equal uh, circumstances. And the first, it is exam, so you pass all the exam uh, during this uh, time. After the registration, you will receive the road sheet by which you will move between the exam stations. The exam starts from the briefing where you hear all the rules of the exam. The following VIN documents are required for the registration. First of all, record book with a stamp from the Dean's office and a passport or other document with a photo. After registration, the student is given a roll sheet on which he or she will move between the examination stations. The exam begins with a briefing, which explains all the rules for passing the exam. The exam includes basic clinical disciplines – internal medicine, infection diseases, occupational pathology, physiology, psychiatry, ophthalmology, emergency conditions, surgery, urology, orthopedetics and traumatology, pediatrics, children infection diseases, obstetrics and gynecology, hygiene and ecology, social medicine. The exam takes place at the stations there are the separate rooms that simulate the rooms of the clinic, the intensive care room, the ward in the hospital, or equipped as an ordinary training room. The exam takes place at the 12th station, at each of which the student must complete a specific task. Time spent at the station is 6 minutes. One minute is given to the uh, task, and 5 minutes to complete this task. The break for switching between stations is 1 minute. During the break, the student proceeds to the next station along the individual road received during the registration. At the same time, an examination group of the students takes the exam. This group is formed from the calculation of one person for one station in accordance with the number of stations. 
We have 12 stations, so the examination team includes 12 people. Throughout the exam, video registration is performed. Each student begins the exam with a station whose number is indicated first in his row sheet and then moves to the station uh, indicated in the row sheet. For example, if station number is 4, it is indicated first in the received row sheet. The student starts the exam from this station. Then he or she goes to the station 5, 6 and so on to the 12th station. After passing the 12th station, the student must go to the station number 1 and continue the exam. After completing all 12 stations, students have one minute to move to the debriefing room on the second floor, where the grades or results will be announced to them. During the exam, each student gets the opportunity to relax in accordance with their role sheets. This is marked as a rest zone. The student must go to the recreation zone with that number and in the uh, number indicated in his road sheet. We have 12 stations. There are 6 stations on the each floor. There are next types of the station. First, reading station. At these stations, you have to fulfill special forms in the written form. Each answer must be said loudly. Second station, practical skills. It means that you must to answer for the task and demonstrate a specific skills in accordance with the algorithm uh, written to its implementation. For example, to make some surgery skills. Each step in the assignment should be voiced by you. Third, standardized question. You have to uh, speak with the standardized patient and clarify complaints, collect analysis, perform some distortion or auscultation, check up for any other symptoms. Fourth, station rest zone. We have already introduced this station. During the exam, students are forbidden to communicate with each other, use educational or additional materials, or use any other gadgets. If the students violate the above standards, he will be expelled from the exam and his results will be cancelled. The signal for the exam's beginning is a long call followed by the comment. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. After the briefing. After the signal, the student has one minute to move to the station from which his road sheets begins. There is a short task briefing on the door before they entering the station. A simple call is accompanied by the command Enter the station. Before to start the work, you have to, go, uh, to give your road sheet to the examinator. He or she identifies your code with the number in the checklist. If your code matches, the examinator gives you the uh, ability to start your task. If the codes do not match, the examiner invites the administrator and he helps the student to get to the necessary station. And if it isn't possible, you will be expelled from the exam. After identification, begin to complete the task. Get acquainted with the full task. There is one minute for this. After one minute, they will be given the choice command, start the task. 
and you start your task before one minute left of the task it will be the voice command you have one minute left if the student copes with the assignment before the deadline he remains in the room until the double ring and the voice command go to the next station if the student fails to complete the task within the allotted time, he still interrupts. Finish the task and move to the next station. The signal to complete the task is a double ring and the voice command go to the next station. During the student's response, the examiner fills an electronic checklist. The examiner does not interfere in the process of completing the assignment, but only evaluates the student's actions by making notes in the checklist. The examiner may contact the students in a case of violation of safety or behavioral rules, or if it is provided for the assignment. The student can contact the examiner in case a deterioration of health. During the student's response, the examiner fills an electronic checklist. The examiner does not interfere in the process of completing the assignment, but only evaluates the student's actions by making notes in the checklist. The examiner may contact the students in a case of violation of safety or behavioral rules, or if it is provided for the assignment. The student can contact the examiner in case a deterioration of health. Immediately after the exam, students move to the debriefing room to be announced their results. The exam is considered to be passed if the student's score is more than 71% of the maximum number of points at each station. Final scores are set by the examination committee on 4 point and 200 points scales. The student receives 5 grades for 5 disciplines – internal medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, hygiene and social medicine. The final grade is the average score for all the stations that are the components of the particular discipline. If the student does not agree with the assessment at the station, he can file an appeal to be carried out by the video re recording the student's response at this station. A student may be suspended from the passing the exam in such cases. First, he or she uses a mobile phone and other gadgets during the exam. Second, it was recorded the theft of students' conversation between each other during the exam. Third, it was recorded theft of a conversation between the student and the examiner during the exam. Fourth, it was recorded students' attempt to copy a station task to any storage medium. Fifth, violations of the ethics and moral code of university. We wish you successful exam.